to say, talk to you a little bit about grips and foot stands. When you're talking about grips, there are a number of different grips that you can use in fly casting. One of the uh, commonly used grips for close-up fishing, uh, you don't have to uh, have a real powerful grip, uh, but you want to be very accurate when you're fishing close-up, uh, is your finger on top. And you simply, your pointer finger uh, is placed on top of the cork with your grip gripping around the rest of the cork toward the back and you're gripping it just like this and you're using your finger as an indicator of where you, you want that, that fly to go. Uh, typically your casts are made at about this angle and this position so you don't have to have a real strong grip. You're casting anywhere from uh, up to 30-35 feet this way. Now if you want a little stronger grip an excellent grip to use is your thumb on top grip. Your thumb on top grip is a very, very strong grip. It can be used for close-up, but as you add more and more distance to your cast and you add more stroke length, you need to, um, a little more powerful grip is, is indicated and you need to have, this allows you for a, a very powerful, powerful grip. Allows you to really punch that line out there. Uh, another grip to use that is commonly used is what we call a V-grip. And that V-grip is, I like to put my knuckle of my pointer finger slightly to off center from the fly rod. And the V is sitting right on the top of the fly rod, or just to the left, if anything. And I'm holding the rod like this. So very, uh, very much, uh, very, very powerful grip, but it's also a good grip for distance casting. When you are making long distance casting and you're having to come back with that fly rod, you can come back and, and have your trajectory uh, and uh, the plane of the fly rod go straight behind you so everything is lined up. Uh, those are three different grips that will serve you very, very well uh, in whatever casting you do. Uh, the, with regards to stance, when you're casting to targets that are relatively close, a square stance is a very good stance to use. You want your, what we call square, is both feet are, are pointing toward your target and they're about shoulder width apart. Uh, that should be a very comfortable, very stable stance. Uh, as you start casting farther and farther out, it may be nice, may be more comfortable to move your right leg if you're if you're right hand dominant. Move your right leg back slightly and your left leg forward to open up your stance so that you have more room to move your your arm like this. When if you've got a really long distance cast that you're making, again you can open it up even wider to give you more room to move your body, your whole body back and forth. So the stance, whenever you're fishing, you want your stance to be pointed in the direction that you're casting, but as you go with longer and longer casts, you need to open that stance up, okay? So if I was, just as a review, if I wanted a short cast, I would have a finger on top grip with the square stance, making that short cast. As my cast get longer, I might switch to a thumb on top, open up a little bit, and as my cast gets really long, I'll go to a V-grip, open up completely, allowing me to have full body motion and allowing me to come straight back with that rod at all times, keeping that line in the same plane going back and forth. Again, I'm Keith Richard, Master Casting Instructor, A.E. Roy USA. Thank you.